Hi guys! So I'm doing my second video of the day. I've had a little break. <laughs> I've come back. I'm all ready, I think, to do my glossy box and my mint velvet. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and it's my happy place. I do shopping hauls, I do some unboxings, I try to do a few vlogs and bits and pieces. I think that's something I'm going to be doing more of. If you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. So I'm going to start with Glossy Box. Look how pretty this box is. Their boxes just lately I think have been gorgeous. This one says Glossy Box 10 years of beauty. So presumably it'll have some of the things that they think were really worth having in the last 10 years. Open it up. Look how pretty that is. And it's all packaged beautifully. So in the box apparently are five of their ultimate must-haves. It's so exciting because you just don't know what's in here. So first up is... Well, the first thing on the booklet should be my Elemis um, Pro Collagen Marine Cream Deluxe Mini, but I don't appear to have it. They must have run out. So they have put in instead Sport FX Wipe the Day Away. Eye and Face Makeup Remover Wipes. There are 20. It includes 10 sets of individually packaged eye and face wipes. So there's 10 eye ones and 10 face ones. I'm not much of a one for using wipes, but there are occasions. There are occasions. I'm not going to poo-poo it. I've never tried this particular brand. Perfect to grab and go. I suppose these would be good in, the ham in my handbag for, you know, occasions when I might need to take my makeup off. I don't know. But because they're wrapped. Um... Yeah, am I disappointed? I don't know. I do have Elemis. I like Elemis a lot. Um, but I can imagine that if I had been really looking forward to the Elemis, that would be a disappointment. But I don't know. I'll give them a go. Next up is NCLA Treatment So Rich. So Rich Birthday Cake Cuticle Oil. It's a limited edition. That's, does it smell like birthday cake? Mm, kind of. Um, they launched it for their 10th birthday and that's why Glossy Box have included it. It's safflower seed oil and vitamin E. It has, I mean, it's very pretty. It's got like little glittery bits of glitter in there. Um, again, it's not something I use a lot of. I know you're supposed to. You're supposed to use cuticle oil all the time. But I tend to find that if I use a really good hand cream, that nourishes my cuticles anyway. So... It'll probably go into one of my giveaway boxes. You know, I'm doing a lot of giveaways at the moment. So that'll probably go into one of those. Then I have a Steve Laurent full size eyeshadow palette. Isn't that pretty? The way they've done it, they've packaged it. Celebration edition. So what does it say? Create the most glam eyes you could ever imagine with this celebration eyeshadow palette. Again, I will probably be giving it away. So I'm going to be very careful opening it oh pretty colors i do have thankfully it's got a little sleeve over it so there we go try not to blind you can you see the pretty colors in fact i'll, I'll take that away because it's shining very pretty but i do have most of those colors myself but there are some beautiful bronzes and coppers and i what have i got on today i've got sort of a dark brown with a bit of um pinky in it but that's really nice um I don't use enough eyeshadow probably to go through all the palettes that I get. So again, I'm going to put it as a giveaway. Um, but it is nice. It is not. I'm doing a lot of, um, um, I'm sort of thrown by the fact that the Elemis wasn't in here. In here and, and just sort of, I don't know, I feel slightly, um, oh no, deflated would be wrong. But a bit befuddled by it, shall we say. Next is... A Lottie London full size ombre blush in haze, it's called. So, again, oh, look at that, it is ombre. Can you see the way the, the color gradient is? That's very pretty, very, very pretty. Um, sort of, I mean, they're calling it haze, I would call it sort of coral, coral pinks, you know, very nice. 
And then I was going to say last but not least, there is a free Flexitol heel balm. Love this stuff. I think it's really good. But the last proper thing in here is by Josephine. Not heard of Josephine before. Josephine Cosmetics. It's a flawless liquid highlighter. Definitely won't keep it because I'm in the highlighters I've had just recently. Illuminate your best features with just a single swipe of this luxe liquid highlighter and i can't even get it open glamorously healthy and it says meet claire on the bottom if i can open it without damaging it oh here we go it's going so let's have a look see what it is i was excited for a minute i thought it was going to be a lippy because i do love a lippy yes it's called claire do you do you you very very stylish packaging i don't want to open it because i say i'm going to give it away but it must be this sort of color down here really stylish isn't that so there we go that was the glossy box is there anything that i'm sort of going to i don't know i might keep the wipes i might keep the makeup wipes um so here we go <laughs> the flexitol the liquid highlighter by josephine the lottie london blush eyeshadow palette by steve lamont and i mean to be fair if it wasn't that i've got so many palettes i would be all over that i would be very excited by it because it is a beautiful palette with some amazing colors the cuticle oil <laughs> and the wipe the day away studio no sport fx i want to say studio fx that's um mac isn't it that does studio fx wipe the day away so there we go that was my glossy box I sound a bit deflated about it but I'm really not I'm really really not it's just that as I say because one of the things wasn't in there and there was no explanation of that I was a bit like am I doing this right have I, have I got this right let's move on to mint mongoose now again I'm considering pausing this for a while because I have a lot of jewelry now um and you do get to a point where you think Mm, do I need any more well I mean I never need it let's be fair but do I want any more for a while so I'm not sure but I'm sort of thinking that I might just put it on pause just for a few months um maybe in the run-up to Christmas and start it again in the new year I'm not sure but anyway here we go so first up is a t-shirt a black t-shirt that says fine oh no yes find your balance <laughs> find your eyesight as well actually Find your balance. That's a nice t-shirt. That's nice fabric. I like the mint uh, mongoose t-shirts. I have to say they are lovely quality. They always wash and wear really well. In fact, I've given a couple of them to my younger daughter. And I have to say she works on a policy with washing of just everything gets flung in. Um, and it gets washed on a high temperature now because she's got children. Um, so she's pretty hard on her clothes. And I've bought her some quite fancy things in the past. And they come out of the wash and I'm like, Jay, what have you done? Why would you tend to that? But these, the ones that I have given her, she's, you know, abused them as always. And they've come out looking really nice. She was wearing one yesterday, funny enough, and I was thinking, God, that's wearing well. So um, they are good. I would give them a thumbs up. Then the jewellery. This is the bit that's really important. So the inspiration this month is inspired by maintaining balance in the wild ride of life. I love that picture. Look at that okay so let's i always do a little synopsis not too much because it's too boring for you guys um talks about why balance is so important she says as a mom of three little ones balance is more of a necessity and harder to achieve than i sometimes realized so she, she designed this set on the dainty side on purpose to illustrate the fine tuning that true balance requires and the small baby steps that achieving measurable balance mandates the small beads on the second necklace in the set resemble the many aspects of life that demand balance from us. So there we go. I always love reading how she's come up with whatever the design is. She must be so hard working to have three little ones and be doing this as well. I, mean, I don't know how big her operation is, but I don't feel like um, Mint Mongoose is a, you know, a, a huge company or anything where she'd have like loads and loads of staff doing the work for her. So the first one I opened was a necklace and I really rate this actually because of its real simplicity. 
isn't that nice i think the chain is very very nice and i like the simpleness of just the bar at the bottom and it goes over my head without me having to faff about undoing it can you see it comes just below the button on the shirt dress that i'm wearing but that is really really pretty i like that ah so this is the one with the beads that she was talking about now can you see little sets of three beads every so often on here and obviously this is a much higher one i won't be able to pop it straight over my head I'll try and line it up <laughs> line up the hook with it oh i think that went straight on which is just i've got it on the longest setting and it's hanging about the same as my name, my name. so again they're really simple i really like this long one and then, as I say, the little beads that keep getting caught in my name necklace. But I think that's really nice. I like the subtlety of this one. And then here we go with the earrings. And they match the first necklace. I'm really hoping you can get a good view of that. It's just a tiny little bar sort of trembling on a shepherd's hook. I'm going to pop them in. And there we go. That's the... Can you see it? I hope you can see it. <laughs> I'm never entirely sure because I'm sort of waving my face at the camera. But I'm hoping you can see. I like the subtlety of that. Not sure whether the shepherd's crook is, you know, the, the back bit of it is sort of spoiling it a bit. But I, I feel like they're really cute. <laughs> Won't know until I look back at this. So that was it. That was Mint Mongoose. Lovely black t-shirt. Set of earrings and two very pretty chains well one of them a pendant and the other one a chain we've all been working quite hard here getting bits and pieces done we're trying to get that turnout field done i don't know that i have explained it to you guys before but it's for the horses it's for the winter um and we have to um work really hard to get this field done but i think it could make a huge difference to the health of the horses and the ease of looking after them in the winter so there's been chaos going on here in the meantime my eldest and her hubby are finally sort of starting to feel like uh new york is a nice place <laughs> i think they went out there. there was so much there were so many um hoops for her to jump through and loopholes and i mean waiting for her ssn social security number it's a big deal in america the social i mean we have one i i know i've got a national insurance number somewhere but oh. um but over there without your social security number you can barely do anything and she had to wait a certain amount of time to be allowed to do that even to make an appointment because the, the offices are running slow because of covid um so she's had quite a lot of yeah hurdles but they found a little flat they're hoping they've made the right choice but it's always the same isn't it when you rent a place you just don't know so hopefully it's the right place for them um, and they're starting to put a little home together she was a little bit horrified to discover that um, new york apparently has a really big issue with bed bugs um the big hotels you know it, it's just something that is a bit of an issue in new york i think the climate as well i think um causes bed bugs to be more of an issue um so she didn't want to buy any sort of um upholstery second hand or bed second hand or anything like that because of the fear of of this so she had to buy a new bed so that was a bit of a challenge and and a sofa uh, but everything else she's doing through um tk max and goodwill and and charity i mean they don't really have charity shops as such they have goodwill um and places like i think habitat for humanity and and things you know so there's a lot of that going on because of course poor hubby isn't allowed to work for uh, x number of months uh, after they get there which i know is a real challenge for him he he's you know he's a good guy he wants to work um so he's in charge of pulling the place together my daughter my oldest daughter hates shopping my daughter hates shopping she does she really does um she always has done and it's it's a little bit of a joke amongst the family that when her wardrobe needs refreshing she comes home because i take her shopping and i bully her into trying things that she wouldn't try we go to a, a big department store let's say well it used to be say debenhams or somewhere and i'll walk around literally just armfuls armfuls of stuff um, and make her try all kinds of things and, and you know she comes back 
thrilled with a, a sort of a suitcase worth of clothes but, and that'll be her for another year or so she's just she's not like me she does the occasional purchase online um in fact she bought a whole load of things from thought after watching my thought haul <laughs> um so she's a bit challenged at the moment because she hates shopping and she needs to put a home together so luckily her hubby who is very artistic um is enjoying it I think I think he's quite enjoying the fact that you know she'll come home from a day at work or whatever and he comes back and it's you know a bit like the, you know how men used to bring home the bacon he's kind of bringing home the wardrobe you know you know what I mean although I don't think they need wardrobes but <laughs> he's got that job um I did as a housewarming for them I bought a whole selection of cheapy rugs off um amazon.com because in their lease they have to have 80 percent of the floor covered with rugs i think that's funny because it's a, a wood you know it's got old wood flooring there must be a noise issue in the flat or something or in this block um so yeah 80 percent of the floor and she was like wow you know how am i going to find that many that quickly so i i went online and i bought a whole and as it turns out they're actually nice i wasn't expecting them to be that good i said to her, you know these are starter rugs <laughs> these are cheap and cheerful starter rugs and apparently some of them are really i mean one or two of them are exactly what i said they'd be starter rugs but a couple of them have been really lovely so i've got another excuse to shop only it's amazon.com um I would love to be able to do like a haul from Target for her or something, but I don't think I can because I think that your payment method has to be in America, which is complete pain because I did try to buy her vouchers um, at Target and I couldn't. In the end, what I did was I put the money into my brother's bank account and got my brother to buy a voucher for her. So yeah, but, but the, you know, their first, month let's say she was kind of day by day she was like why did i do this oh no i like it oh no this is dreadful oh yeah no actually I don't. no no i want to go home you know and i think it was a really tough time and i think more so because they've gone there for her work and i think women we tend to feel much more guilty about putting our partner out i think you know a good husband does think Oh, it's a bit of a shame that my job is taking us to wherever and my, my wife, my partner, has got to sort of give up her friends and a job and, and everything to follow me. But it's far more normal, whereas I think it's quite an unusual thing, even in this day and age, for a guy to follow a girl. Um, and I think we, we beat ourselves up over it. So I think she spent as much time worrying over whether he was happy as whether she was happy but i think they're finally finding their feet um which is pretty brilliant because i have been worried <laughs> i confess ladies i've been very worried um so yes yeah, so everything is trotting along here uh, i've got so many videos to do and lots of ideas to do and and so on but uh, i thought i'd do some of my unboxing videos today uh get a couple done in the bank so that I had something to put up for you guys. Um, but there we go. That's it. Uh, oh gosh, I haven't stopped talking. And I'm off. Okay. Bye, guys.